How are you doing tonight? Yeah. I'm doing great. Right. Pretty good, tired. We've been, I've been out this since 10 o'clock on Friday. So. <laughs> Slightly tired. Oh, tequila helps. Tequila helps. <laughs> That's, a, that's an upper? <laughs> You're not out. It's supposed, supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> just margaritas last night at a local place. Just, you know, this will fuel me. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> so, so, congratulations yeah, on 10 years. Thank you. Thank you. I feel very lucky and grateful. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty rare to get to work on a series that goes on for that long. Mm -hmm. you know? So one of the things I really like about Cyril as a character is no matter what the situation is, even when he is technically like in charge, like it was with the figure st agency, right. he's a sponge for failure. <laughs> like things just go wrong for him. What is it like to play the character and to have to like? Does he come to terms with it? Does he always have hope that this cycle's going to break? <laughs> Um, you know, I think he's, he's, he came to terms with it a long time ago in a lot of ways. Uh, it's, it, maybe even when he was a child. Uh, the scary thing is it's not that hard for me to play this guy. Um, but yeah, I think Cyril's used to his sort of lot in life. Uh, he, I, I don't, he's, he's accepted on some level, though. I don't know if he's conscious. Yeah. So what's uh, what are we getting for Cyril for 1999? How has he been reimagined? Well, he's kind of back to normal mm -hmm. Cyril, um, like he has been in most seasons. Mm -hmm. you know, not German. And he gets not, to be a human yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, he's a human again. He's not crazy and uh, <laughs> any crazier than he normally is. He's he's uh, yeah he's kind of the old Cyril really. I mean, he's just he's the <coughs> self-appointed first mate of the ship. <laughs> um, he, uh, he watches the scanner a lot and is occasionally at the control board, but uh, it's mostly them having adventures and crises around the ship or on other ships or other planets. So it's, it's, it's all about the relationships, which largely are the same. You know, so is he going to be pursuing Lana again or some more? Or? Yeah, I think, yeah I, think, I think he's definitely got... Um, still got the interest in Lana, mm -hmm. and something might be going on there, though it's, I, don't, I don't know how well defined it is. Mm -hmm. you know. um, because we know as well, like, I think you battle during pirates, you have to outwit bounty hunters. Is there a particular part of um, the storyline that is, is in that you, uh, sorry, that Biggest takes part in, or any particular part that you kind of really excited by? Um, well, he's, I, I'm just, it's hard to remember the episodes after we've recorded them and before I've seen them, but I, ju I just remember there was a particularly pathetic moment for Cyril when there was an alien on board and everybody was out looking for him and Cyril just sort of put himself in, the, in near near where the lockers were and pretended to be looking through the lockers for him. He's really just hiding. That's <laughs> 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 So, hypothetically, let's say Archer goes on for another few years and it does this kind of genre hopping, like we're all really hoping it continues, to be honest. Um, where would you like to see the show move to? Like, we've, you've done pirates, you've done space. Is there any particular setting you'd love to see this cast in? Um, you know, it'd be fun to go under the ocean, maybe. Um, <laughs> but it would also be fun, I think, to go back to just sort of spy mode, you know? Like, it originally was. Mm. That would be fun, I think. Um, but look, I'll be happy wherever we go if we get, if we get to keep doing it. You know, so. I, think, I think Autumn Reed in an interview last year was saying he had tossed around Archer Bees at one point, like it was going to become, an, like everybody was just going to be working at like a chain restaurant <laughs> together. <laughs> and it was going to be called Archer Bees. <laughs> That's the first I've heard of that. It was like a. A lot of good sponsors that way. <laughs> <laughs> and the writers have previously talked about like real life moments from you guys and um, lives making it into the script. Are there any moments like that for you this season? Not that, not that I'm aware of, no. I mean, uh, I, I, he's, I don't know that he's Adam or the other guys that have written this season because Adam didn't write them all this season. Um, for sure, right? 
you know, I don't know that they know how much of what goes on in my personal life. It's not that interesting. Uh, you know, we get to have fun at these things, but I, uh, I don't, I don't know that that makes it any so. Do you have a favorite joke or moment from this season that you can share? Or a recurring joke that makes its way back? <laughs> well, suppressing fire comes back. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it, it, just the typical... I mean, there's something pretty good that Archer does to Cyril in the first episode that I won't give away. But, you know, our, ways that Archer, you know, craps on Cyril, you know, and gives him shit. And, uh, that's all fun. <laughs> it's always fun to see what he's going to do to him. You know. Are we going to see him fight back? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. There's a little There's a little fighting back. Uh, it's not particularly manly, but uh, there, there's, there's a little fighting back. Can you give us an idea, uh, like, not only Sterling's always been bullying him, but can you give us an idea of what uh, Cyril's relationship to Mallory this year is going to be like? Um... You know, I don't feel like he has too much of a relationship with Mallory's character, uh, with Mallory. Um, she's a very sort of, she's basically Mallory, but she's a little different um, this season, like in the same way Krieger is. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of the same. She's, she's the Mallory from most seasons. <laughs> His, his interactions with her are not a particular note that I can remember. Yeah. Because the setting is space, is there anything particular for your character that you find really difficult in space setting? Um, I think so. I don't think it stands out. I mean, you know, all of Cyril's personality traits kind of come out and manifest themselves as they do in most seasons. Um, I, I personally used to watch Space 1999 when I was a kid. I even had the, this big plastic spaceship um, from it, even though I can't remember the name of the ship. But uh, so it was, it was, it was cool to find out we were going to go into space, and it was going to be named. Are there any uh, good, like deep, deep sci-fi cuts that we that we get drop as Easter eggs in this season at all? Uh, I think there are, but I, you know, some of them are going to manifest as. Uh, it's like visual games, okay. You know, so I haven't, I haven't seen, seen them yet, but I'm, I'm sure they'll be there. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us.